Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and on this platform we discuss about designer fashion, luxury and lifestyle, but in a more practical and sensible way every Monday and Thursday. In this video, we're gonna witness me eat my own words. So we're gonna be talking about the Louis Vuitton pochette clé or key pouch, uh, which uh, I have in the monogram canvas. So this is kind of an update to my review video of the uh, key pouch that I made around a year ago. I will link it here in case you want to have a look at um, what it fits and all of those things. And after filming that, I have felt, especially after the most recent price increases, that it wouldn't be worth it anymore even though this is still my most used SLG from 2021, probably also from the year 2020, etc. So I absolutely use this and wear this a lot. But I still feel like I might have presented an attitude of, I don't know if I would actually buy this anymore with the current boutique price. The reason why I have felt that it is not worth the 2030 euros that this currently costs in the Louis Vuitton boutique is probably reflecting the attitude that I purchased my first key pouch uh, some years ago with the price 130 euros. And for me, the functionality, it hasn't changed it hasn't updated it hasn't improved um if i would actually think about it most likely the quality has decreased with the piece um i would i kind of feel that's the case that there isn't really a justification to raise the price that much if we are looking at the quality obviously market works as it works on the pre-owned market, these have been selling over the retail price for many for a long, long time already. Um, so obviously, Louis Vuitton realizes people are ready to pay more than what they were asking. Blah blah blah. Um, but still, like having the exact same piece with 130 euros, and now I would need to pay 230 euros. I think that's not really worth it to me. But I was then thinking that what would then be the equivalent from other brands for the key pouch? If this is no longer worth it, according to me, um, then what would be the next best thing? And I was actually scrolling on different brands' websites looking for their equivalent key pouches uh, so a similar shaped pouch with a hook for a key just a very simple model with a zipper no like card slots or anything like that very very simple piece and uh, i have actually examples from four other brands that we can do a small comparison with and kind of see how they compare next to this one. But I was actually quite surprised that especially the canvas version of the key pouch, which is actually the most popular one compared to the leather version, uh, which currently Louis Vuitton has many different price points of their key pouches in leather with different, um, from different collections and all of that. So especially for the canvas, which usually also with other brands is priced less than leather. This still with the price of 2,030 euros is the least expensive one. And this holds its value the best. And most likely the value actually will go up even more. So here is the part where I kind of feel I need to eat up my words because if you want to have a key pouch, like this type of key pouch, the Louis Vuitton one might actually be the best. 
If we now start looking at the different alternatives that there are in case this one is super hard to get or you don't like Louis Vuitton monogram or you want some other brands and, and all of that. Um, the next one, according to the, or if we're looking at the price point and with canvas would be from Celine and their key pouch or coin key, whatever it is called, uh, with their Triumph canvas, it's 260 euros. So it is 30 euros more than this. And if you stamp the word Celine on top of the canvas one, it will go up 10 euros more. So 2, 270 euros for the exact same purpose. And unfortunately, Celine doesn't have the same resale value and market as Louis Vuitton one has. So if you would put that amount of money on, on a Celine piece and someday you would want to sell it, most likely you're not going to get what you paid back. But it's, I don't want to say 100% certain with this one, but it's like, it's very likely. I think the competition truly starts when we go to the leather key pouches. I don't have one from Louis Vuitton, um, but they go from like 300 euros and, and up, depending on how amazing <laughs> the the print is on those. Uh, but with the leather ones, I think there might be actually better, better alternatives on the other brands as well, because they do then compete with the price point when it comes to the pieces. Celine actually offers a leather key pouch with 290 euros, if I'm not mistaken. And I actually think this is super beautiful and might be considering it myself as well. If you have watched my wish list, um, you might know what I'm talking about. But that is not like, it's actually pretty well priced for a leather version if we're then looking at like the market in general with the leather key pouches. We could then move to Gucci that also offers a canvas key pouch. So I currently found two canvas versions from Gucci's website. Uh, one like a plain Supreme one and then one with the Ophidia one. And uh, it started from 260 euros. So basically the same as Celine. And then if you want the Ophidia red and green, it's going to be a bit more. Um, and then moving to the leather ones, it is 330 euros on Gucci's website currently. So, I mean, there it is working on the same price level as the Louis Vuitton leather uh, key pouches as well. So once again, this one comes out as the lesser expensive one. Just my humble opinion that Saint Laurent might have the kind of best priced leather key pouch with uh, 295, if I remember correctly, um, with the same kind of idea and um, functionality than, than this one as well. But yet again, like if you are looking for exactly canvas version, I didn't find any from Saint Laurent's website. They probably don't have any. So that's just um, for the, the leather options. And uh, then I was looking from Fendi. Uh, they didn't really have like this type of key pouch on their site right now, but they had uh, one with card slots on the other side. And most likely the size is gonna be a bit bigger than this one. And that was 330 euros. So yet again, that was with the more functionality actually a bit better. Uh, but that kind of goes to a different type of card holder key pouch and not exactly this one. I did leave outside like Dior and Chanel and all of that. From Dior, I didn't even find any. And from Celine, I have seen um somewhat unboxing like similar type of things but i don't know if they sell them regularly or or whatever but those price points like definitely would be above this one and i just felt that i would leave them out anyway but with this like small amount of uh, options here it is quite obvious that like if we're only looking at price points 
and pieces maintaining its value, this actually comes on top, but especially with the canvas one. The leather ones, I'm not sure at all what would happen with those. Um, so if you are not like stuck with Louis Vuitton aesthetics with the leather key pouches might be worth looking at other brands as well um, if the aesthetics pleases you um, because in a way I don't purchase my items with the intention of reselling them I'm purchasing them because I love them and I want to use them so it's not everything is not about the resale value but it can't really be ignored when we're talking about the Louis Vuitton key pouch because these are such a hot item on the pre-on market that if you are really having some doubts that is this like forever piece for you then obviously Louis Vuitton would be the best one to get your money back someday I'm assuming <laughs> and that's just it I just needed to eat my words and actually make a declaration that the Louis Vuitton pochette clé or the key pouch this actually is a pretty good good purchase if you actually use uh, these type of pouches um, then then the canvas one would actually be quite good and that was it for today Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.